So let's bring in Lee Munson, Chief Investment Officer, Portfolio Wealth Advisors. We always love when Lee's on. He always has uh, a great energy, a lot of perspective. And I know over your 20 years, I think you said, you, you learned 22. some lessons along the way. So 22. So what is it? What's your takeaway? Because some people obviously must have been freaking out when they saw what's going on with this market. What do we need to know? What are the lessons learned from the past? Oh, my God. So my, my top three lessons, I just sent this out to clients on Friday, is number one, you're not going to top tick, you know, the top of the market. So you just have to get used to that. And I've been doing this for 22 years and I've never been able to do it. Secondly, you have to not sell the bad kids at the bottom of the market, right? That means your small cap value, like uh, Matheson was just talking about a few segments ago, your emerging markets. And the third most important thing that I learned the hard way back in 2008, 2009, learned it the hard way, Nicole, was you don't change your complete portfolio to just buy utilities or staples or all of the high dividend stodgy stocks at the bottom of the market. And so those are the lessons. Now, I gotta mention one thing though. Nobody said we're at the bottom and that's where the rub is. And there are gonna be people who think we saw the bottom a few weeks ago. I have my own opinions. I've been doing this for a while. I believe that we're gonna retest. You know, my buddies like Tony Dwyer also think we're gonna retest. Helene Meisler, who's like, you know, my like guardian angel said we're gonna retest. And then you got people like Doug Cass who say they're not. But the bottom line is, if you believe you're gonna retest, you've gotta take some exposure off. So that's what we did today. We sold into strength last Monday. We sold into strength today. And that helps me as a money manager be more aggressive when we see another retest of those bottoms from March 23rd. And that doesn't mean I've given up on small caps. It just means that I'd like to sell a little here into strength, take some losses if I had it, and then just go crazy when we see them trend lower. Right. So sell into some of the strength so you have some money or some ammunition for when there is another pullback. I know you look at some of the dividend players, too. You want to make sure these companies have some good dividends, that they're real quality companies, though some companies have been stopping buybacks and stopping dividends. I mean, how, how are you going to know? Well, I think you don't. And I think that's the reason why everybody trying to get that, you know, proverbial Coca-Cola or Johnson and Johnson or whatever it is, especially in the smaller areas, don't count on dividends, right? You can't believe that these things are going to be there when they're badly needed. So I think you always have to look like, listen, I love dividends, right? Longer term. But right now, don't go buy for dividend yield. Don't buy thinking that these things are going to be safe. Also, I remember making big plays back in 2008, 2009 on preferred stocks because they have big dividends. Um, the bank stocks were getting killed. But look at what happened in Europe. All those bank stocks cut their dividends. Don't think that couldn't happen here, especially when the government gives a bailout and gives money. The first thing they may say is no more stock buyback. Second thing they might say is, you have to stop paying dividends in your preferred. You may have to pay, stop paying dividends at all. So again, look at valuations. I like to play some technicals here. And you got to play your own game. You got to play your own time frame. So you're saying to still be diversified. Don't just go and buy large cap big companies or don't change it up. Don't sell everything and be scared and sell. And then you might have lost everything. Um, I know one of the things that you do is you look at the S&P 500 companies. You take out the largest ones, right? What's that technique? Right. Well, what we're trying to do, um, if you look at equal weighted index, and this isn't something that I'm always invested in, but if you look at the S&P 500 and you equal weight it, it kind of effectively, it's sort of a proxy for what if you took all the big stocks out? What if you do the FANG stocks out, that top 10? And what you see is when you hit bottoms, like we did back in March of 2009, or when you look at when we hit bottom in 2003, the equal weighted index goes up like a rocket ship and it leaves the regular S&P 500 behind, right? Did that for both those periods. And I'm not saying the past is always gonna repeat itself, but what it shows you is that when you're at the bottom, I don't believe we're there, but when you're at the bottom, you bang the garbage can and you go for the trash, the stuff that's heavily leveraged. You go for the, the stuff that people are like, is this really gonna make it. But the problem is, I don't think that's here. Again, I think if you want to do it, great. But I would rather see if we retest again. Why? So I can be super aggressive and slightly cocky when we get down to lower levels. And I have more cash to invest in the garbage can. B right. Bring out your dead trade. Tell me about the safe stocks. 
<laughs> you know, I think that when you think of safe stocks, first of all, there aren't any, but I think the utilities definitely <laughs> come to mind, right? I mean, it's like, how much stodgier can you get than the utes, as we say? And so when you look at utilities after the bottom and after you trough out after a long bear market for six to 12 months or six weeks, they tend to really underperform as everything reflates. So all you have to do is go on the internet, any charting thing for free, and say, what did the utilities versus small cap value or an equal weighted index like RSP do two years, four years, six years out after that 2003 or 2009 bottom? And you'll say, oh my goodness, I do not wanna have utilities once this thing bottoms out. And I would say, that's exactly right. They may be friendly now, and if you're in them, Great, I'm glad you were in utilities for the past six months, but I play my own game and it's a different game and it's called make the most money longer term. So that's why I'm not dumping in utilities because you know what, if we go down, utilities will too. So I would just say, if you feel you want to be defensive, there's something called hit the sell button and take 20% of your equities and move them to cash. You don't have to do it all and you don't have to do anything, but do right. not just jump over into the safe stock. Just stocks a quick final afraid. thought. Quick final thought on technology, because everybody loves tech. I don't think the last 10 years will be the next 10 years. Trade accordingly. Mm -hmm. Lee Munson, great to see you. Chief Investment Officer, Portfolio Wealth Advisors. Thanks, Lee.